I mean, we're Johnny at GA Boca, Art Culture and Sports Turf Engineering, based out of Art Common Golf Club. He's going to show us how to set the height of cut with a bar today on a pedestrian um, cylinder mower. Right, you're all right, everyone. Right, I'm just going to show you a simple way to do this now. Um, we've got a Ransom Super Bowl 51 here. It's quite a common mower. I'm sure a lot of you have got them on your bowling greens, etc. Um, so, yeah, let's just set the height and um, then we'll laugh it. Right, all you need is a ruler and ideally a setting bar. Them, them's your two number one things for to get an accurate height setting. Uh, usually if I'm setting below 10 millimetres, um, certainly on golf green mowers, wicket mowers, stuff like that, I'll use vernier calipers uh, to set the height of cut just so that you know you're getting it absolutely bob on because uh, some people like it at 0.1 of a millimetre difference. Um, but for this demonstration, we'll just use a, just use a little steel ruler which will be fine. Um, so, first thing, I'm going to show you how to set your height on the setting bar. So, if you, uh, you just get your ruler and your setting bar, the height of cut is determined by the gap between the base of the setting bar and the underside of the setting screw. So in effect, that's your ground and that thread there is the length of your grass. So all we have to do, for argument's sake, I'm just going to set it to six millimetres, or there or thereabouts. So you wind the thread down until the gap between that and that is six millimetres, there or thereabouts. Um, like I say, it's completely up to you how accurate you want it, etc. And then all you do is lock the base up so it doesn't move. And that's as easy as that. that that's your height set on your setting bar. Now. What I'll do, I'll just show you how to, what locking nuts, etc. there are on this particular mower. It's uh, not very fancy. Um, so what you'll need on a Ransom's Super Certes is two half inch spanners or 13 mil. Sometimes people put 13 millimeter nuts and bolts in there, which is fine. Um, on this occasion, the 13 millimeters. So on a Ransom's Super Bowl, you've got two locking nuts, which hold your roller in position. They're these on either side, there and there. So all we have to do is slacken them off just until they're loose on either side. Like so. And then what you've got, you've got these two adjusters here on the front. Now they are actually attached to this roller bracket here and that will move your roller up and down depending on which way you turn them. So we know now that that gap there is six millimeters so what you want to do start at one side um, usually on the cutting cylinder you want to start you know you don't want to start right at the edge because your rollers are chamfered so it'll give you an inaccurate reading so what you want to do you want to start a couple of inches in ideally so all you do is rest that bolt up against the bottom blade. Now you can see that the height of cut on this one is too high because that won't slip over there. Because the idea is that the top of the bottom blade needs to go under this thread and that means that your height is set correctly. So all we have to do then is get your adjusting spanner. Some of these have got twisty knobs on them. Uh, but in this instance it's uh, again 13 millimeters or half inch so all we have to do in effect is wind the roller up until that just slips over the now obviously you've got to do the other side so you don't want to adjust this side too much just yet just get it very close and then you go to the other side about the same distance in Again, it's high. We've slackened the locking nuts off. So all we have to do is wind that roller up. Pressing up on the setting bar just so that it moves with the roller. And there we are. That goes over that side as well. Just lips over. Now you know that is exactly six millimeters. 
So move back to the other side and recheck it. See, that's just moved a bit low because we've adjusted the other side. So just move it back a bit until it's just, just right. And it's just a case of checking it a couple of times just to make sure that it's spot on. There we are. Now this one's winding up a bit. There we are. Perfect. So now all that's left to do is lock these locking nuts back up. And you know now that your mower's set perfectly at uh, six millimeters. Now I must stress, before you tip any mower back like this, make sure the fuel tap's turned off if you've got one um, and stuff like that, because the last thing you want is fuel running out through your carburetor and out through your air filter. Um, but other than that, you should be all right. So yeah, there we go, simple as that. Thanks Johnny. No worries.